Hello, Star Wars Rebels fans. My name is Joel Robinson, and this is the Star Wars Rebels Finale Analysis. Star Wars Rebels just finished their first season with the most amazing episode yet, Fire Across the Galaxy. It was epic. I cannot believe the things that Lucasfilm revealed and put into this last episode. Before we get started, I must say there are major spoilers ahead. So if you have not seen the latest episode, this would be a great time to watch my other videos. I'll give you like five seconds. Alright, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very happy to officially say, Ahsoka is Fulcrum. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. Thank you to all the people who have commented on the previous videos. It is correct. The theory is now confirmed. The fan favorite from the Clone Wars, Ahsoka, is Fulcrum. Hey Lucasfilm, Disney, I'd be happy to start accepting those uh, job offers. Just kidding, but really, I would take a job with either of your companies. Anyways, let's get started with the top five moments. Number one, Hera takes charge. So in this episode, Hera takes a huge leadership role. She plans Kanan's rescue and doesn't even bother to coordinate with Fulcrum. I'm sorry, I mean Ahsoka. If I had to guess, it was his independent nature that helped Ahsoka decide she was ready to be part of the larger Rebel Alliance. I must also say, it is awesome when a show features strong female leads. And Rebels, so far, has been great at doing that. It even patched the beach still test for female leads. For number two, I must say, the entire part about the stolen TIE Fighter was hilarious. The reaction of Zeb to Ezra telling Hera, I loved. It brought back memories of my brother and I trying to tell only selective truths to our mother. The way that the painted TIE jokes continued was comedy gold. My favorite line for sure was when the TIE lands in the hangar and the trooper says, that's not regulation, and the other says, I kinda like it. Although it makes me question, during the Clone Wars, how did any of those ships ever get past being custom painted? I mean, the same people leading the Clone Wars are the same leaders of the Empire. Number three, Tarkin. Stefan Stanson's portrayal of Tarkin has a strong gravitas to it, that every time he's in an episode, I have a genuine fear of what's to come. Even when everything's falling apart for him, he has this way of speaking that makes it seem like he has everything under control. Number four, the lightsaber battle. So Kanan has proven himself with his blade. Battling solidly against the Inquisitor, the scene felt a lot like Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon's duel with Maul from The Phantom Menace. When Ezra falls and then Kanan says he has nothing left to fear, you could feel the determination, which I must say I don't truly believe that the Inquisitor is dead, but that's a topic for another video. Number 5. The Return of Darth Vader So in the very last moments, as Tarkin returned to Lothal and is talking with Agent Kallus about the Rebels, you can hear the iconic breathing of Darth Vader. There was no need for words, just the walk and the breathing were enough to make me scream at my television. Number 6. I know I said 5, but this is a bonus one. Ahsoka's return. There was a moment when the team walks aboard the Ghost and Bail Organa was projected to tell them about being a rebel cell, and all I could think was Bail is Fulcrum? But then, triumphantly, Ahsoka descends from the pilot's cockpit, and the truth was confirmed. She is back, donning new armor and new lightsabers. This of course raises a ton of questions, which I will cover in a later video. This episode was everything that a Rebels fan could hope for, and it will boost the show's ratings as more Clone Wars fans will start watching. It will be interesting to see if Kanan learns new Jedi skills from Ahsoka. I know she technically isn't a Jedi, but that doesn't mean she's lost her Force abilities. One thing that was definitely hinted at that might be more prominent in the next season is the relationship between Hera and Kanan. It's obvious at some level she loves him, and vice versa. But to what extent, we don't really know. Other than that, I think Darth Vader will have a more prominent role in the show. And James Earl Jones will have to record some more lines. If you would like to learn more about what to expect from Rebels Season 2, click here to see my theory crafting video of what it is to come, story-wise. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe. And may the Force be with you, always.